everybody! I'm here today with a beginner driving lesson on driving the speed limit. In this video, I will be going over some strategies that you can use to make sure that you're driving the speed limit consistently. And this is important because, number one, it's legal to drive the speed limit. You gotta make sure that legality-wise, you're doing the right thing when it comes to driving the speed limit. Legality, it has to make sense, number one. Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought because I saw someone that I knew right there. So you gotta drive the speed limit in order to avoid getting a ticket, but it's also for safety. It just makes sense to drive the speed limit, okay? So, it's a simple five-step process or five simple pieces of the puzzle, I like to call it. Number one is identify the speed limit, okay? Number two is get to the speed. So get to the actual speed, look at your speedometer, get to the speed. Number three is hold the gas pedal in position at the speed. And that's how you maintain the speed, okay? Number four is that plus or minus about three kilometers an hour is totally fine. I mean, if you're going, if the speed limit is 50 kilometers an hour and you're going 53 or 47 or anything in between those numbers, it's totally sort of acceptable within that range. Some people will say two kilometers an hour plus or minus, that's more for the driving test. With regular daily driving, you know, three kilometers an hour is totally acceptable. And then number five is to practice what I like to call the parked RPM hold. Okay, and it's an exercise that I'll show you in a moment. Right now I'm driving, the speed limit on this road is 50 kilometers an hour. So I'm driving, I'm gonna, I know it's 50, so I've identified it, I'm getting up to 50 kilometers an hour. So I'm continuing to drive. 51 right there and what I'm doing now is I'm holding my foot lightly on the gas pedal like I'm barely pushing it at all to maintain that speed okay now I'm gonna slow down because I want to turn on this street over here and the speed limit on this street is actually gonna be 40 kilometers an hour so I did this on purpose so that I could demonstrate a different speed so now it's 40 kilometers an hour I'm driving down this street I'm going to get up to speed 42 kilometers an hour right there holding my foot barely on the gas pedal at all okay just barely pushing it at all to maintain that 40 i'm going 40 on the nose continually now there's a stop sign so obviously i'm going to slow down and come to a stop what i'm going to do now is uh, what are you doing stop at the stop sign bro this guy just ran the stop sign like right and he looked at me like he stared at me and he ran the stop sign what's wrong with you someone go give this guy a ticket surrender your license please or something I can't believe that. Like he just went out in front of me and completely ran the stop sign. If I didn't stop, I would have I would have had an accident right there. Wow. Anyways, with that aside, I'll show you the the uh, the parked RPM drill that I'm talking about. So let's go. There's some construction happening here. I'm just gonna move aside from it so I don't uh, interfere with them. I'm gonna pull over over here. What you want to do is put your car in park, okay? Just like that. And you wanna keep an eye on your tachometer, your RPM gauge. And you're gonna push your gas pedal and you wanna pick different RPMs to hold it at. So I'm gonna pick 2000 RPM. I'm holding with the gas pedal and I'm holding the RPMs at 2000 RPMs. Release it, okay? Try a different RPM, let's go 2500. So now I'm pushing it, bring it up to 2500 and I'm holding it there at 2500. Just like that, release it, okay? And obviously don't go all the way up on your tachometer, but I'll go to 3,000, okay? 3,000, holding it right there at 3,000. If you can hear it, release it, just like that. That is what I like to call the practice drill for your gaining your gas pedal control. Very easy to do, and if you want to drive the speed limit, it's very important to know how much to hold the gas pedal and how to hold it consistently, so you should practice that. Like I said, don't go all the way up on your tachometer, don't go to the high numbers, but you know, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000, that's totally fine for the most part. And that's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment, and of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.